So, this here is a very lovely, very dangerous tool to take apart skids. And here's how it works. Sometimes you squeeze them, sometimes you don't. So these skids that I get come from the Caterpillar. These are stock order skids. And they happen to be incredibly hard. They have very lovely oak. If you wanted to burn them, they are safe for burning. HT. There's some nails left in there, but that could be easily removed. Other than that, very lovely oak. So have to get the nails out, through, put it through the planer, and good to go. All right, now to uh, take some nails out. Relatively easy process. Move them like any other nails. Show the part about these nails. They happen to be glue coated and they're blunt end and also spiral. So when they get into the oak, uh, being very tight grained wood, they just don't want to come out. They just they're in there. So sometimes taking it out of the um, out of the upright pieces, it's uh, one hell of a tight endeavor to try and get them out. Uh, sometimes the, uh, the head pops off, and all you're left with is just this. Um, very nice trick by, uh, by Mateus is by using a pair of um, uh, waste grips, holding onto that, and then frying it up. So just by using a nice pair of ice grips, just cinch them down. They have a nice tight grip on the... Uh, on the offending head of the nail. So once you have it like this, once you have the nail sticking up about like that, just take either your hammer or uh, pry bar and just pry up on your uh, on your uh, pliers. Usually they come out. Sometimes you have to weld the head and heat the nail up and get them out. Generally they do come out. So now that you have uh, a nice lovely chunk of oak, let's uh, go over to the thickness planer and make it into nice usable lumber. Clear through. <laughs> I don't go that nail. Hey. Nothing all, you like all you gotta do is just make sure that the, uh, the thing is uh, completely... Um Jesus, that shit just goes flying. Whew. See, ram sets are good for something. Hmm. A lot of things. Yeah. 
clean through. Right out. Well, that's a hell of a lot easier. I'd say. Well, you still got to straighten it. Yeah, true enough. Well, that's why you have the uh, lovely vice anvil. You got lines and pliers? That one uh, embedded itself into this one. Whoops. You can see the uh, nope. projectile path on that one. Nope. That makes it a little bit easier. I'd say. Well, now that the nails are gone, I'm off, set. The off of the planer. All right, over at the planer. I do have a nice uh, dust extraction system on. Probably not going to hear anything I'm going to be saying, but uh, time to make uh, thick wood thinner wood. Now that it's quiet, uh, all the lumber is uh, now milled to a nice thickness of about uh, 15 millimeters. Uh, next step is to take it over to the chop saw and section it down into uh, about 140 millimeter long pieces and then down to 32 millimeter width pieces and uh, then over to the table saw to make them into, well, into a cup. Alrighty, over at the chop saw. Let's make some long wood short. Always safety glasses. So there's uh, the two nail holes here. So I usually just cut directly next to them. Uh, otherwise, if it's got a crack like this one here, because uh, I'm only going to be using about this piece here, I'm not going to worry about this crack being on this side. Um, here's why I don't use this piece. At least I'll be able to get a full length out of this.
Although this does look nice. Not exactly good for drinkware. There's two holes where there was a nice staple. Both there and there. Um, just gonna use either this piece here or this piece here, so that's gonna be alright anyways. Alright. Let's cut these guys to length. Of course, I already have a predetermined size that I'm going to be cutting it to. And that is a lovely chunk of firewood. about these rough edges here that's going to be taken up on a table saw but other than that nice dimensional nice flat wood okay over to the table saw